Hey, Antoine, good to see you. Um, look, we haven't really had a chance to talk to you much since the injury. It happened late in that first game. Exactly what, what occurred and how difficult was this rehab? I guess the hardest part, not being out there with your guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was tough. Um, I um, actually was trying to make a move when I was blitzing, and I kind of uh, planted and overstepped a little bit and, you know, felt something weird in my foot. And so i mm -hmm. um, been out a few weeks from, from a foot injury, but, you know, I'm happy to be back. And that first game back, I mean, you've made an immediate impact. You have a scoop and score. I think it's your first NFL touchdown, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So no celebration. Well, what did we do when we got in the end zone? Oh, yeah. First, first touchdown. I definitely celebrated. You know, I did a little, <laughs> little dance, you know, at the end. I don't know if anybody caught it, but, you know, I did a little <laughs> dance. And it was, you know, it was cool. Fun actually yeah. getting home for my first time. Thanks. Greg Allman. Hey, Antoine, I know you guys are still missing Izzy and out there, but it seems like this is about as close to full strength as this defense has been really since the opener. Um, I know it's been hard for you to watch, but just want to ask how much more you guys can do as a defense when you have the flexibility and the moving parts of, of having everybody healthy the way you do right now. Yeah, we can do a lot. And I feel like that was kind of on display uh, this past week. You know, we I feel like we got players everywhere that can make plays. And, you know, our goal is just to go out there and get as many takeaways as we can and, you know, that that's that's just something that we kind of work on every week. And, you know, once we have all of our pieces there, then I feel like that's something that we can do consistently. Tom, we've asked you before about Tyke, but I mean, obviously Sunday was a game where he he was a lot like you all, all over the place, had a yeah. hand in two turnovers and almost a third. Just yeah. how neat it is to see him getting to the ball and being as instinctive as he is in his second month in the NFL. Yeah, it's awesome. He's very instinctive. You know, he he does it and he, he makes it look easy. And so, um, you know, it's great having him out there and playing with him. And, you know, he's out there balling, making plays. You know, he should have had three takeaways, I think, that that last game. So, you know, it's fun and I'm happy for him. Thanks, Antoine. Good to see you again. Jenna Lane. Hey, Antoine. Good to see you back out there on the field. Um, I, I, I was curious, you know, just – what it was like from your vantage point watching I know it's not easy but just I mean you you have a, a much finer appreciation of the details of this game and, and what goes into it the X's and the O's and just seeing the way this coaching staff the way coach Bowles was able to get so many of these new pieces in there um, to be able to secure some victories despite not having you I mean you're one of the key guys on defense just your thoughts on on how they were able to do that yeah, um, they've been doing that because, I mean, you know, that's part of the job. It's like that next man up mentality. You know, even though I went out, we still got guys filling in that that did a great job. You know, it, uh, Christian Izian came in, did a great job uh, when I went out. And so it's always having those guys that are working behind, um, you know, the starters. And when somebody goes down, you know, it's the next man up mentality and they come in and do a great job. So that's the way that we've been able to, you know, get some wins. And what about this coaching staff's halftime adjustments? Obviously, you guys as players have to execute, but for them to to do some, I know that for instance, Spencer Rattler was was doing some things with the bootlegs, and you know, second half that stuff got clamped down really quickly. wasn't dropping the outside linebackers, was rushing those guys instead. Um, for them to put you in position to deliver a shutout in the second half, what what's it say about about them and and the, the job the Bulls did? Yeah, yeah he, he does a great job. Um, you know, he sees something, and once he knows, like, what they're kind of going to be in, you know, he he fixes it and changes his whole uh, play calling. So, um, you know, that's what you want at a, out of a D.C. slash head coach. And, um, you know, for him to make those adjustments, you know, that just speaks to to his character and how he, um, you know, sees the game. Thank you. J.C. Allen. So, Tweez, just want to ask you, the team has won a couple of different ways. They've lost a couple of different ways. Um, you know, Todd Bowles said the resiliency, you know, kind of sums up the, the team's identity right now. But how can that help the team? How can that help your confidence going forward that knowing that, hey, we can win big, we can win close. We can lose big, we can lose close. And no matter what, we're going to bounce back and we're going to come out there and play our game. Yeah, it's just, you know, working with one another. You know, if if like both sides or all three phases are in like sync and in line, like I feel like you got to click at the right time. And I feel like with us, if if one side of the ball is doing something, the other side of the ball is able to pick them up. And, you know, just working with each other and, and doing that throughout the season, you know, that just creates confidence as a whole. And then it's like, okay, once we put this thing together, you know, we're unbeatable. So it's it's one of those, you know, things that you you go throughout the year. Um, you know, it's always kind of ups and downs. But, like, once you have every level clicking, then, then you're pretty much good. I know a lot of us saw this coming. You saw this coming, but Zion McCollum, 
is having an absolute monster start to the season. Another takeaway this past week. What what have how does him being able to do what he does at this high level help you guys do your job? And what can you just say about his level of play over the past four weeks? Yeah, Zion's five been, weeks. Yeah, he's been making some plays. And you know, I've been on the sideline watching everything, and I'm like, he's flying around. And um, you can tell he came in uh this year a little differently than he has in the past. It was like, all right, this is my time. And he he just took it and ran with it. And so, you know, you love to see like the work pay off and just the the attitude that he has is just so much different than when he first came in. And you know, it's great to see him out there making plays because he he's worked for it. And as as far as like the resiliency you guys talked about, you know, both said that you guys last year when you were in that slump, it, it took a little bit for you guys to bounce back, right? Um he said that you're you're showing this year that it's not taking weeks, it's taking literally days and you guys are bouncing back. Why do you think that is with this group? Um, I would say just from our past experiences of being with each other, um, you know, we, we try to get out of those slumps as fast as possible. So that's why I think you can see that day to day. But it's really just um, the message of like we want it. We want to be great. Right. So every day we have to attack it like that. We can't let days and week days turn to weeks and and that like slump area happen. So we kind of just like nip it in the butt and try to make sure that that doesn't happen to us. Thanks, please. Yep. Last question from Rick Stroud. Antoine, last time you played Derrick Henry, I think he had just 24 yards. He's off to a great start. Mm -hmm. And you have Lamar Jackson on this same team. So what what's the plan? How, how do you get the big fella down? And how does that change when you have Jackson on top of that? Yeah, it changes uh because they, they got a lot of weapons on that side of the ball. So, you know, you obviously got Lamar who can do everything, run, throw the ball, and then you got Derrick Henry who who's who's a beast at running the ball. So it's um really containing their two main guys as much as possible. And I'm sure we'll have different ways to do that. All right. That's all we have time for. Thanks, Antoine. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, y'all.